everything just short of this to take Trump out. Enjoying these videos? Don't forget to show your support. Hit the like button and share to spread the word. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel for the latest content. Leave a comment below and let us know what you think. We're always open to suggestions. Also, visit the website at jamesanthonyreport.com to support our Patriot-approved sponsors. Your purchase keeps us on the air and ensures we continue providing you with info on the topics you like most. Now back to the report. Come on, man! First and foremost, condolences and prayers up to the friends and family of the person shot and killed at the Trump rally tonight in Butler, Pennsylvania. Here is what we know so far. Donald Trump survived an assassination attempt from a shooter on a rooftop who is now reported dead. Nine shots are reported as having been fired before Trump was struck on his ear and fell to the ground. Secret Service has declared the rally venue to be a crime scene, and Donald Trump has released a statement through a spokesperson thanking law enforcement for their quick actions. As of the release of this video, numerous posts online are claiming that several mainstream news outlets are allegedly refusing to acknowledge the incident as an attempt on Donald Trump's life. Some claiming that he fell off the stage, and others reporting that the rally was interrupted by, quote, loud pops. None of this should come as a shock, because believe it or not, this isn't the first attempt on Trump's life. In May of 2020, rioters stormed Capitol Police guard posts and used bricks, rocks, bottles, and other projectiles in an attempt to storm the White House. 60 Secret Service Division officers were injured, with about a dozen taken to the hospital. And for the last eight years, the political left in this country has done everything just short of this to take Trump out. But the video everyone needs to see is this, right here. In the image that should be on mugs, hats, and t-shirts, and the image that every single American patriot needs to share across every single platform from now until the election, is this. Together, let's make America great again. This is James Anthony. Report. Take on the intelligence community. They have six ways from Sunday at getting back at you. So even for a practical, supposedly hard-nosed businessman, he's being really dumb to do this. What do you think the intelligence community would do if they were motivated I don't know, to? but I, from what I am told, they are very upset with how he has treated them and talked about them.